notice that you know all the when we look at all the local governments in Africa, and in in a, in a state, and we look at Akoko Edo, because when we look at Edo North, it's a tripod. Tripod of Esako, the one of the legs is Esako, one of the legs is a Omo. We notice that Akoko Edo has been um, left behind. So when this policy was also rolled out, Motor Campus policy was rolled out, we saw that virtually all the, the tripod has something. There's nothing for Akukwedu. And uh, we, we felt um, this is, it might, you know, we are not reading any meanings to it, but being that we are humans, we, we, we felt that, that this, is, um, this is something that is, um, we need to urgently bring to the attention of um, the government, and we know that the government is listening. Government, we know what you've been doing for us, sir. so that's why we actually said um, this motor campo policy is being rolled out. We want to beg the state government, please let us, if you can see whatever you can do, to bring one of the campuses to Akukwedu to help regenerate. The act to regenerate up, it will attract, it will even show up economic activities in the place. We have the IGR of the local government, it will have the IGR of the state government. So, we want you to help us to look into that. We want you also to help us look into the issue of um, infrastructure. You know, the water supply in um, Akukwedu, Ojira Medam, which was commissioned by General Yakubu Gowon in 1972 73. It's been there, it's almost like moribund. It used to be when we were growing up, you go to the public tap, you press it, the tap runs. Now, you know, a lot of things are happening that if we have clean water, a lot of um, some of these um, ancillary things are followed, diseases and the rest could be averted. Our um, hospital, like the general hospital, a Ghana general hospital has only one doctor. It has a, uh, the nurse, we don't have a pharmacist today. We don't have, uh, you know, the same applies to our uh, Ibilo hospitals. And this has, we don't need to, people travel all the way to Irua, and some of them have accident and die. Yes, so we want you to help us look into some of this, you know. I don't want to, you know, bore you down because I know you know some of our problems. You are one of us. And um, if you look at some of the schools that produced the eminent people of the society, like um, uh, our revered um, former chief of general staff, Rear Admiral Aigi, he went to St. Paul's uh, Anglican Grammar School. The school is like moribund. You know, these are some of the things, you know. So what we want to do as a group is to work with the state government work with different groups to be able to, you know, in these various sectors, make a difference. We know that the government cannot do everything, but that's why we are presenting ourselves. You know, some of the things that might be needed, you know, even the human power, some of us, some people can volunteer to do things for free, you know, so if you can bring us all together. Then we have um, this issue of um, mining activities going on in that place. The mining activities, what are we gaining? We know that there's illegal mining going on all over the place there. It is not showing in the economy of the local government. We have agriculture, like um, Enwa palm oil is one of the best uh, palm oils now, you know, in the place. And in Bilo Gary, you know, the governor, even roads, infrastructure, roads and the rest, like the also so Okwila Road that we talked about. So having said that, um, I will just, um, you know, not bore you too much. Then finally, the local government chairman that will be coming, election will be coming up soon. Sir, if you can't do anything for us, we want a chairman with a vision. A chairman that can come to His Excellency, Right Honorable Shaibu Philip, and say, 
this is my vision for Akoko Edo. This is how I can have an IGR for Akoko Edo. This is how I'm going to transform Akoko Edo in the next three, more, three years, if given the opportunity. We don't just want people to be given as chairman because it is my turn. We don't want that, sir. We want somebody who will perform and will be glad you did it for us. Thank, Thank you very much. Sir. As far as development is concerned in the community of state and in the Edo state, I think having that in mind itself goes with a lot of blessings. And at this time of uh, in our nation, where we are looking for role model and people that we can look up to for direction and uh, modeling, uh, you know, this forum is formed. So for me, it's coming at the right time. And I pray that uh, uh, you make the best uh, use of it so that at the end of the day, the purpose of having the forum is not only achieved, but it becomes uh, a direction for Akukwedo people to see the need to give back to the society. Because uh, one thing I know that we Africans are gradually looking to us, but we are not doing is giving back to the community. We, it's something that we are used to. But when we have groups like this coming up, we begin to realize that we must give back. Because everything has been government, 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 government. And because government has been on recess, no direction. Because when something is not working, obviously, everybody becomes confused. So, and, uh, Groups like this will also be uh, useful for direction. So I want to congratulate you for you. this. I'm also I'm seeing uh, professionals, not just having professionals coming together, but also coming to form committees in line with their profession to be able to give advice to the committee. I think it's something completely different from what I've session I've seen so far. So I need you people to keep it up. Yeah, the issue of multi-campuses. Yeah, we we'll actually check what is possible. We we'll look at the design that the state have, and we we'll see uh, what is possible. Uh, it's not uh, casting, and so something that is uh, possible. So we we'll look at it and see areas where and what any of the campuses and all those that is possible because we want every local government have to have something and that is the vision of the, the multi-campuses uh, thing yeah yeah how jeremy dam has been in he has been a recurring decima in our quest to clean water to not just a Pedro, but to a do not because that dam stand a very uh, strategic Point that can serve the entire uh, do not. We've always have a discussion about it. I think the last time the Minister of Water Resources came here, he was seated here, that issue also came up. So we are not unmindful of the potentials of what Jeremy Dam. We are trying to see how best it's going to come back to life and be sustainable. Uh, that is critical. For it to work, it's not just going to be a major problem, but for us to have it to work and be sustainable. But this government really will not embark in anything that is not sustainable. We have always have our plan from start to end. And when those plans are ready, when we roll out anything, just know that those things must work. Mm -hmm. So Jeremy Dan is actually in a very, very strategic uh, position in terms of water supply uh, uh, in a do not not just in Akukwedo. So we are we are still looking at how we can collaborate with federal government to get that working. So that is in our program. Yeah, general hospital. Everybody going to Irua. I think the whole of us they do not end up in Irua, and that is why the the health reform that we are. Uh, presently back, we have embarked on is uh, trying to model what people are doing in the uh, United States and elsewhere. Uh, 
uh, we have have a health system where everything go to the tertiary uh, health centers, which because of the failure of the primary health care center and secondary health facilities that everybody just, even if you have headache, you are going to Ira Specialist Hospital, you are going to UBTH and us, uh, Central Hospital. So we are creating a health system where from the uh, primary health care center, you can deal with those minor ailments that uh, can be dealt with at that level and also helping to take data of those patients in terms of referral, assuming it's going beyond the capacity of the primary health care centers. So we want to recreate the stages that you need to go through in terms of uh, health care, having the primary, secondary, and tertiary health care system. That's what we are reenacting. And recently we had an outreach program, and we, the prototypes of what we've done, about 20 of them in the state, uh, two of those centers were used as centers for those, uh, the outreach program that just took place uh, uh, last three weeks. It was uh, about two, three weeks uh, program. And the operations were done, major surgeries were done in those centers. What we've created is water is key, light is key, and the environment, cleanliness of the environment, critical security, critical. So we've restructured those health centers in a way that it can be useful at that level. And also we're going digitalizing them to be able to have data and history of those patients. So at the end of the day, you don't need to just rush out of to general hospital. General hospital becomes the referral place that they are supposed to be. And depending on the ailment, depending on the area where we go. It will take some time, but we are institutionalizing that system to the level that it will at leave us so that we now have actually, when we say we have basic health uh, structure, it is actually there. Yeah, the local government election, that local government has been a major headache for us all. The 18 local government in the state have uh, been a major headache. Uh, each time we say, we have paid workers' salaries. We don't owe workers' salaries. There's somebody saying, no, they were not being paid. And when you check, they are in the local okay. government. <laughs> they are all in the local government. When we say we have paid pensioners, we are not paid pensioners. Somebody say, no, they are owing us. When you check, they are our local government. They are not state. And truly, when we are the state, say we are not owing. We are actually not owing. Recently, we increased the salary of civil servant. Can we really say so with the local government? Like I do state, no. Because they have actually, if we, if we look at them very well, they're actually bankrupt. Technically bankrupt. Uh, because, not because they don't have potentials, but because we do not have a system that works at the local government. We just have chairman that it's my turn, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's my turn, mm -hmm. and you just go there, and they see government as elephant. Mm -hmm. And they have forgotten that even elephant, when you don't allow <laughs> natural cause of the production to take place, in court, 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 <laughs> they will go into extinction, just like they're almost going to extinction now. <laughs> After the last council, uh, uh, when the last council were dissolved, we went through the opening of the council. And what we saw was crazy, mm -hmm. really crazy. And not just from the last, from okay. we auditing from 1999 to yes. you. You see that the low government actually they are very rich. Mm -hmm. But the way, level of wastage is appalling. So we have decided that there must be, it must be, it's not, we don't really care. We are being taught to be fighters, but so far the fighting is for the good of our people. Yes. We don't really care. Yes. Because what we care is to have a system that work, work for all of us, not a system that work for the few. 
It's enough that work for the majority of our people. And that is why we want to bring the local government to the speed of the state. Where if we say we have done X, the local government to ourselves, we have done it. Yes. When the state is saying we are increasing salaries, the local government too is okay. If you are saying 40, we are saying 35. Mm -hmm. You know, so that is the kind of competition I want to create. And with what we've done with the state, we are also pushing it there. So the next set of low government chairmen must be those ones, those very ones that have something to offer, not those ones that uh, it's my turn, Nigeria Limited. No, 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 no. So we're working towards that. And by the grace of God, we'll, we'll insist and work hard to make sure that the next set of people are people that have something to offer. And I also encourage you as a session to also uh, help in advocacy to let our people know that when you don't allow those that understand and have the intellectual know-how to deal with things and you want to reduce it to family inheritance, mm -hmm the people will suffer, just like we are suffering now. Mm -hmm. But we need to open up and, and use our PVC to do the right thing by putting people and that will not end up sharing our common wealth in the name of Oche. Because what, what, what our people are used to now is handout. We need to leave that era of handout. It has destroyed our our economy to destroy our system to an area where we are all our leaders accountable. And when we say we hold our leaders accountable, we too must do our bit. By the grace of God, we believe in God and we believe in hard work because it's when you pray to God and there's no effort, miracle doesn't come. So we believe in hard work and prayers. And together, by the grace of God, we will make not just Akukwe do, but we will remove marginalization from our prayer <laughs> and make a distinct test. Once again, thank you and God bless you all. I've taken note. I will also escalate in some of these things that are key here to the government so that we follow up. Thank you and God bless you all.